grip net neutrality unless resurrected by legislation or a court for the most part, net neutrality died on Monday, April 23. Its death warrant was signed a couple of months earlier when the Federal Communications Commission FCC, voted on party lines to end the Obama-era rule that prohibited Internet service providers from discriminating against or in favor of content, based on business considerations. Now, the FCC is out of the business of policing ISPs, thought the Federal Trade Commission can still require an ISP to live up to, to its claims and take action if it violates its published promises to customers or engages in fraud or anti-competitive activities. Without net neutrality in place, ISPs are able to charge fees to content providers to give them faster access into our homes. Court cases and pending legislation of course, Congress could vote to make net neutrality the law of the land, but given that the FCC voted on party lines with Republicans opposed to net neutrality and the Democrats favoring it, such a law is unlikely to pass the current Congress or be supported by the President, despite the fact that a 2017 poll found that 80% of the population including 75% of Republicans were opposed to the FCC's abolition of the net neutrality rule. But there is also pending state legislation and litigation that can establish net neutrality within those states. The advocacy group Fight for the Future reports that legislation to enact net neutrality in their state has been filed in 30 states and that 20 attorneys general have filed lawsuits while five states have issued executive orders.